Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic. And in this video, we're gonna be helping you get out of your slump. Slumps, we all get in them. And if you wanna find out how to get out of yours, stick around. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. If you're new here, hey, welcome, welcome. Hope you subscribe. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about being in a slump, being stuck. We all get it. We get stuck into these negative patterns and negative beliefs, and it's hard for us to get out of it because you just get so used to being on that treadmill. But today is the day we're going to break that pattern, and we're going to give you the insight that you need to get out of your slump. Let's begin. I have these three decks ahead of us. Deck number one deck number two and deck number three i want you guys to choose the deck that's calling out to you i want to tell you two things one everything is going to be time stamped so you can go right to your deck two if you look at the cards and you feel something completely different than what i'm saying listen to your gut listen to your instinct you will get your own message. I'll try to give you a message, but if you feel something different, go with your gut. All right, guys, let's begin with deck number one. And this is how you're going to get out of your slump. All right, let's see what's going on for you. Mm. You got two full moon cards, which I think is very interesting. All right, guys, this is your spread deck number one. Nothing good will come of this plan. Your dreams need a more practical plan and don't be too prideful and ask for help. So here's what I'm getting from this spread for you. I say something to my clients and that is don't keep pumping quarters into a broken soda machine and expect soda. So what that means is whatever energy you're putting into that, how can I say this? Sometimes we get so laser focused on a certain thing, whether it's a job or wanting to be with a certain person or wanting to do a certain thing. We get so laser focused on that, that we continue to pursue it. And even though it's not really in our best interest, even though it's not the best thing for us, we are so laser focused that we don't want to sit and acknowledge that. What I'm encouraging you to do is sit down with a friend, somebody that you trust, somebody that you know is very real and honest with you, a friend, a family member, and talk to them about your goals and what you're trying to pursue and ask them for serious feedback. You may need somebody to help you redirect your energy. I'm not saying that you necessarily need to give up on what you're doing. You might, but I'm not saying it's 100%. But I definitely feel like whatever you're doing, you're going about it the wrong way. Let me give you an example. Say you want to be a musician and your thought is, I want to be a musician. I can't wait to play music. But all you ever do is play music at home in the dark on your own and you're just hoping that you know someday somebody will just randomly ask you to play a song somewhere and then you'll wow them. Well, that's not a good plan because you're just sitting in, at home in the dark. Nothing's ever gonna happen for you that way. You have to take action and put yourself out there. Go to open mic nights, put yourself on YouTube, do something. And I think that that's kind of what you're doing or maybe you're pursuing a certain person and you really want that person so bad and you're chasing after them and chasing after them. They're not really wanting to come back. They, you know, maybe they do have feelings for you. Maybe they don't. But either way, it's you're chasing a dead end. And I feel like you need to reevaluate your plan. <laughs> and I really feel like it's important to get a clean perspective. Sometimes we get so lost in our own kind of desires and thoughts and hopes that we don't, you know, we lose that precious insight that can help us really note how to navigate the right direction. So that's my message for you is you can get out of this slump, but what you're doing now is not going to help you get out of it. And I feel like you have so much ambition. You have so much desire. Uh, so that's great. I mean, you have great energy, but you're just not spending it in the right way in the right place. So you know, think about what I said. And if you absolutely have nobody that you can talk to, then I would suggest maybe start journaling, start doing something to, to kind of invoke or evoke, I should say, uh, ideas to come to you that maybe you're, you're blocking because you're so dead set again, you know, on a certain situation, if that makes sense. So it's time to open your mind and expand your horizons. I hope that was helpful. 
All right, guys, let's go to deck number two. Let's see. This is deck number two with Mr. Froggles. Let's see what lies ahead for you. All right. The first thing that I want to say is I feel you. I feel like you're going through a really bad time right now. I feel like you're in a relationship or maybe a relationship just ended, but I feel you're heartbroken and I feel like there's somebody that you care about and it's just not coming together. And I feel like you've been trying to make this work for a long time and I feel like it's time to like let it go. I feel like it's time to be willing to move on. I feel like you are the type of person you put yourself last all the time. You put everybody else first and while that is extremely admirable, you tend to drain your own energy. You tend to deplete your own energy. You're so fixated on what everybody else needs and what's going to make everybody else happy that you then just feel empty. Um, maybe you're empathic. That's kind of what it feels like to me. And I feel like this is your wake-up call to, you know, you have to make some changes in your life. First things first, the relationship that you're in or the ex that you're holding on to, you got to let it go. It's over. That situation is over. As much as you may want it, as much as you may feel like it's where you should be, it's it's just not. This is your wake-up call. You got to let it go. Second thing is you have to start being willing to kind of see the truth and face the truth and the situation at hand and be willing to start taking action for yourself. This is your chance to start doing for yourself, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. You can spend hours upon hours nurturing other people, but when it comes to yourself, you're like, oh, I don't have time. I can't do it. It's And it's because deep down you don't value yourself. You feel like the only value that you bring to the table is your ability to take care of others. You feel like you on your own, unless you're earning it or working for it, you're not worth having around. And that's something that you have to deal with. That's something that you have to heal within yourself. But you you don't understand that the way that you're doing things, you're never going to get what you want. What you want overall is love and acceptance. And you're not going to get that love and acceptance the way that you're doing it. You have to start really healing that empty, you know, scared, abandoned person inside of you. And you have to be willing to start opening up and allowing yourself to grow and blossom. Because once you do that, once you start to focus inward and take care of yourself and heal yourself and, and allow yourself to grow and nurture yourself, and I know you're probably getting, your stomach is turning in knots as I say this because the worst thing you, you, the last thing you want to do is focus on you. But it is the most important thing that you can do. A lot of times the struggles that we are presented with are the things that are the hardest to do, but they're the things that are going to be the most rewarding once you're able to do them. And it's important to get into that. So please, you know, start to take care of you and let go of that person. They're not worth your time. They don't have it in them. And it's, I feel like it's a dead end. Like you're, you're wanting somebody who's just not wanting that connection with you anymore. All right, you guys, this is deck number three. Let's see what has you in store and how you can get out of your slump. Aren't these Moonology cards gorgeous? I absolutely love them. Also, the woman who created this card also wrote a book called Moonology, and I'm uh, listening to it on Audibles right now. And I really like the book. She's really, really cool, and I've learned a lot from her. So I highly encourage you get these cards in that book. All right, you guys. So here's what your deck is saying. Luck is on your side with this new moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Neptune. Is that right? No, Jupiter. I always say Neptune, and it's Jupiter. Ugh. Anyway, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of luck. Luck is on your side. The next one is this, you know, ha have, what does it say? Sorry. Confidence is key to your success. And the last one is don't let your past hold you back. What I want to say to you, deck number three, is that you have to start doing a couple of different things. A, count your blessings. I feel like sometimes you get so bogged down with whatever's wrong that you don't acknowledge all the right things in your life. And I feel like you just get so bogged down. And I feel like, I love you, but you're an excuse maker. You are an excuse maker. 
you are the type of person that goes, oh, yeah, but what about this? Like I could hand you a million dollars and you'd probably be like, oh, yeah, but what about this? I have to pay these taxes now and I have to figure out where the money goes. And oh, and, and people are going to want to come after me for this money. And it's like you don't know how to celebrate the joy. And I feel like that is a learned behavior. You learn that from the people you're around. So you have to unlearn that behavior and you have to start counting your blessings. Even if it's something like a good cup of coffee, even if it's something like a nice hot shower, start small, but the more you count your blessings, the more blessings you'll have to count. Does that make sense? Secondly, I feel like you are so down on yourself, like you beat yourself up. And I feel like you have to stop doing that. You know, if you take a test and you get, you know, one answer wrong, you act like it's the worst thing in the world and like you're this horrible person because you got one answer wrong, which is ridiculous. You have to celebrate the victories and celebrate the joys. You are stuck in a funk and you've been in this funk for a long time and I feel like you're a perfectionist, you know, you beat yourself up, you, you are very pessimistic. I'm not trying to beat up on you by any means. I'm saying this as somebody who is loving you and caring about you and wanting to help you. It is, it's not going to be easy for you to get out of this funk. You have been in this funk for such a long time. This funk has become a part of you. And I'm not trying to scare you or overwhelm you or anything. I'm just saying like, this is your wake up call. You have to start to really mindfully start to change your life. It's not going to happen on its own. You're never going to find that perfect thing that's going to ultimately make you happy because you're so intrinsically designed by your own doing and the people around you who have also contributed to you to see the world as a pessimistic negative thing. So it's important for you to fight that, fight that and start to really aim for the good. Raise your vibration. Do things that raise your vibration. Um, start to focus on things that you have to be grateful for. Start to do good deeds for other people. Let somebody cut in front of you in line. I do that a lot at the grocery store. If I see somebody come in line behind, well, actually, let me, let me not lie to you guys. I have not been to a grocery store in months because of the pandemic. But when I used to go to the grocery store back in the olden days, I used to let people cut in front of me online. Or I'd just compliment somebody if I saw something that they had on like a pretty blouse or whatever. I'd be like, oh my God, your blouse is so pretty. Any little thing like that can really make somebody's day. Try to find ways to help people do good deeds. I know that the pessimistic part of you is like, oh yeah, then I'm going to get walked all over and they're not going to do good deeds for me. Blah, blah, blah. Start doing it anyway. It will come back around. Don't be petty. Don't be negative. Really, really, really take this advice because you're not going to get out of this slump unless you really hardcore fight for it. You have to look at yourself like an addict. An addict who's addicted to negative energy and pessimism. <laughs> and so you have to look at that and be real about it with yourself. And it's just like somebody who's a drug addict or an alcoholic. They cannot allow themselves to have a drink. They cannot allow themselves to go smoke a joint or whatever on the weekend. Once they acknowledge that they're an addict, they're an addict for the rest of their life. And they have to really mindfully make changes and work on themselves to get themselves out of it and move forward in life. And they have to always acknowledge that within themselves so that they can actually overcome and grow and have happy lives. And it's not easy, but they can do it if they want to, if they have the desire to. And I hope that my words are reaching you and I hope you have the desire to help yourself. Really, you have to look at yourself in this way. I know it may seem extreme, but think about your life. Think about your views. Think about your day-to-day -day, you know, existence. How often are you happy? How often are you grateful? How often are you generous? I don't feel it's very often. And I think that, you know, I'm not, again, trying to beat up on you or anything. I'm just trying to help you. So hopefully you'll take this in the best, most loving way possible and move forward in your life and get out of your slump. Wow, I got ranty on deck number three, you guys. I'm really sorry, but I, you know, when I get passionate, I just want to, like, you know, I want to make 
the biggest impact that I can when I feel like I need to make it. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I genuinely hope you like it. I do live shows Wednesdays and Sundays where you can actually have an opportunity to win a, a reading with me. And you know, if you're interested in that, come and join me. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays and Wednesdays. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. By the way, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. All right, take care.